so uh, if you haven't heard about deep seek recently um, let's talk about it so deep seek r1 uh, is a new model or uh, more like chat gpt um, which is built by backed by chinese people um, it's against open ai right now everyone is asking which one is faster cheaper and ultimately smarter in terms of reasoning and I will try to explain in this video. First off, um, DeepSeek R1 is a new, but um, it's making is important. Um, it's based on DeepSeek V3 model, which has been upgraded to massive 671 billion parameters. Even though it's huge on paper, um, only 37 billion parameters get activated when uh, most of the time of its operation. And there is the kicker. DeepSeek is developed on a budget which is under just $6 million, um, which is a pocket change compared to OpenAI is reportedly spent on billions on the O1 model. This leads us straight um, to the cost angle. Um, DeepSeek R1 is fully open source under MIT license, um, which, so for example, you are a developer, you can use it free and for personal and commercial use um, without any restriction, which is a full open set of weights without any um, licensing headaches. Also, uh, you can run it locally and tap into the API of DeepSeek for free. Meanwhile, OpenAI's uh, O1 model is uh, famous for its performance reasoning, but definitely it comes with a Herfi price tag, which is $200 per month, which um, restricts many of the startups or enthusiasts to adopt it. So if we look at the performance, uh, yeah, there is a question. DeepSeek R1 and O1 both emphasize chain of thoughts reasoning model, um, which helps them tackle advanced comprehensive tasks. Um, in key benchmarks, um, R1 is standing two to two um, with O1, even uh, surprising it in some tests we have seen so far. Of course, O1 still have some advantage um, for its refined, polished uh, infrastructure behind it. But, you know, it doesn't uh, make a lot of sense when you are using it for a basic reasoning use case. But we are also seeing R1's raw capabilities can match outstanding O1 in several use cases, despite its much smaller uh, development budget. So um, here is what it gets more interesting. DeepSeek has released multiple distilled version of R1. Um, the smaller fine-tuned version like uh, the Queen, Liama, that inherits R1's core reasoning power. The result is a family of models that can be deployed on local machines or edge networks, which uh, will not break your banks. Some of these distilled variants have even better um, certain SOTA models. Specific benchmark includes including head-to-head -head comparison with uh, OpenAI's um, mini models. So the choice comes down to when you when your project can budget how you want to integrate AI in your workflow. So either way, it's clear the comparison is heating up. Uh, now let's see. And DeepSeek R1 is a definitely right choice, I would say, um, for the for this time. So if you guys um, check the R1 model, I mean DeepSeek model is free. Just sign up. And if you have chat GPT O1 model, um, then you can do a side to side comparison. And after using it, let me know which one you like most.